So Wayne and I started going back and forth, sometimes on text, sometimes face to face, about No Mercy going back a year ago. Because at one point he said to me, I'm going to do another one. And I said, well, <laughs> you mean you would replace No Mercy? Yeah, yeah. And I said to him, you can't do better than the best. You can't do greater than the greatest. Because that song, that theme song, No Mercy, and I Won't Back Down, is simply the greatest sports show theme song ever, ever, not even close. And he would say to me, watch me, just watch. Felt like I was daring him. So we went back and forth and I waited and I waited and nothing happened. And I thought, you know what? He came to his senses and he finally realized you can't top that. And then that happened. Shannon Sharp left. We went back in the lab. We took a little break. We're going to relaunch August 28th. And all of a sudden, an opportunity has arisen for at least a tweak of no mercy as we go forward into our next incarnation. At least a tweak. I thought, well, maybe he'll tweak the lyrics a bit. Maybe. I didn't know. Wayne said, I got you. Just give me a little time. I got you. I said, okay. Basically saying to him, good luck. So at one point, two, three weeks ago, he texted, I've got the music. I'm working on the lyrics to the new theme song. You, you've got the music? And I'm thinking, what, wait, are, are you going to create a whole new song? Uh, okay. I didn't text back good luck, but I was thinking good luck. And I waited. And he worked on it. Texted a couple times, still working on it. Okay, I got it. Can't rush that creative process. How well I know. So it was. A couple of nights ago. I was working late on my screenplay. I'm about halfway through it. It's starting to write me more than I'm writing it. I finally wore out. I said, that's enough. I got to stop. Ernstine had already gone to bed. Bing. Wait, I got a, te a late text. Usually, I, I know who that's from. It it's, it's from my brother Wayne. And all that he texted me was the new song. No text, nothing written. No, hope you like it. No, nothing. Just the song. For a second, I tried to get it to play through Dropbox, and I couldn't make it work, and then I had to do this and that, and it was driving me out of my mind. But I finally got it to play. And as I finally got it to play, I stopped it and went and woke up Ernestine because I wanted her to sit with me, my wife Ernestine. And I wanted to see how she and I reacted to whatever it was because we had no idea. It's a whole new song. And you're going to have to trust me on this. It, it is spectacular. It was so new and so different that we were blown away initially in a weird way because we weren't ready for it. We had to listen to it a second time to say, wait, wait a second. What, what is this? I texted back, obviously. This is incredible. So thankful, so honored, so blessed. And the point is, 
it was so late at night and I was so worn out from a very long day of creating on my own that the total impact didn't hit me until the next morning when I played it again and again and again and again and again and trust me on this it got better every time I missed that nuance and that nuance I'll say this, Wayne sings in it more, more than usual, I'll say. He also plays the guitar in it. It's a very special song, to the point that after hearing it the 27th time, I now actually believe it's even better than the original. I did not think even that man, Lil Wayne, was capable of doing that, but he pulled it off. He outdid even his all-time greatest goat self. My brother Wayne is as at least into our relaunch as I am. He is heart and soul into the relaunch. And by the way, bigger picture, Wayne has agreed every Friday going forward to do in a segment with me live. He might not always be in studio depending on his schedule, but he's going to join me every Friday for a segment, I don't know, 12, 15 minutes, if he's hot, if he's rolling, maybe we'll keep him a couple segments, if he has the time. That you can look forward to. He is so deep when it comes to sports. He doesn't yell or scream, but he does get emotional. And you hang on his every word, because trust me, he has thought through every single word. I like to say that I see things and say things others don't. Wayne is my match. That's why I love him so much. That's why we text so much about sports. We're kindred spirits, but we do see things differently, but very deeply. I hope you enjoyed that video. You ready for more? Make sure you click that subscribe button for all the exclusive content from the Skip Bayless Show. And don't forget to check out the full episode of the show wherever you get your podcasts by clicking the link in the description.